I was the most beautiful girl in California. Then he gave me this. Then he kissed me. Then he said goodbye, see you again maybe. I don't know. He don't know. Oh, if I never see him again, I'll, I'll scratch his eyes out. away. Nobody was following you. You looked to me like there were a hundred police with swords and guns after you. <laughs> it was worse than that. What could be worse than that? A beautiful woman who is angry. I do not like angry women. Oh, I don't blame you. Uh, let's go. They want me here too, huh? I must be a very popular man. Every place I go, I'm wanted. 500 pesos. What a dick you are. A stealer of pigs? A kidnapper of chickens? Why, in Santa Barbara, it's 1,000 pesos. In Monterey, 2,000. And in El Paso, 5,000. El Paso. Uh, they sure like me there. What is the difference, 500 pesos, 5,000? That is only money. Nobody really knows how much I am worth. Nobody? Well, maybe, maybe the pretty little school teacher in El Paso. Maybe she knows her. Huh? Uh, what about that pretty little flower girl that sells flowers in Monterey? Hey, uh, we must be near a village, huh? Oh, see, si. San Lorenzo's on a little ways. San Lorenzo? Oh, that is a pretty name. I think we go there. Hey, Cisco. What? Would you think it's better we wait until after dark? Ah, you worry too much, baby. Come on, we go. Pretty soon you're going to be an old man, huh? Talk about the flowers. How is business? When the people buy, it is good. When they do not buy, it is bad. Today it is not so good, and I do not think it's going to get any better. Oh, you make a mistake. Gracias. Take anything you want. Oh, I think I'll just take this little flower. Well, I hope business gets better, and uh, and may your dreams become more beautiful. Gracias. Adios. church, and he told me something that made me think. You were talking to the priest? Uh-huh. Now tell me, 
What did the priest told you? He was telling me about this place here, San Lorenzo. Ah, oh, that is nothing to think about. This is only a pueblo. Yes, but it's a happy little pueblo. Are you ready for it, senor? Yes, I am very hungry. What have you got, my friend? Oh, we have some good sopa de arroz, sopa de fideo, enchiladas, tamales, chile rellenos. I will have a, a big plate of beans. Beans? Ah. Yes, you know, the, the little priest was telling me that there are no troubles here. All the poor people are taken care of. There's no monkey business in the politics. Nobody tries to steal anything from anybody, and everybody dies of old age. Oh, well, then this is no place for us. You know, if I had a little farm and a pretty little wife who could cook chili rellenos, tortillas, frijoles, and have a lot of children, I could be very happy here. Cisco, you are loco. Is that what you're thinking about? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's crazy. It's crazy in the head. Little farm, wife who can cook, children. Why, in one week you would be tired of them and all the children too. What is the matter with you? You do not think that I'm a family man, huh? No, not unless the leaves that ride the wind would make good husbands. The leaves that ride the wind? Who told you that? You did. Oh. Pretty good, huh? Oh, I remember now. I told that to that pretty little girl in El Paso that was combing her hair by the river. Yeah, <laughs> the one with the big slant eyes. Yeah, she had beautiful, beautiful white teeth. And the pretty little nose. Yeah, and the nice red lips, and she had the... Oh, I wish I were like you. How you do, Cisco? Tell me, what do you say to the pretty girls when you first meet them? Tell me this before.
Hello, pretty one. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. I'm thinking. Well, you can take your thinking some other place. Go away. Oh, no. This is a good place for what I am thinking. Get out. I was thinking how wonderful a woman looks when she has fire in her eyes. I do not care what you were thinking. Go away. You are a very funny woman. A man tells you how pretty you are, you tell him to go away. Maybe you do not like admiration. Admiration? You didn't admire me or my dancing very much out there, Senor Ping. You had thoughts only for your stomach and eyes only for your food. You will forgive me, senorita, but I, I am a very shy man. Shy? You're about as shy as a coyote of whom you remind me of. Now go away. You do not understand. The moment I saw you, I said to myself, and only to myself, I said, that is the most beautiful senorita in all California. But I could not tell you that because the, the bartender was looking at me and all the people were watching. You see, I told you before, I, I am a very shy man. I just wanted to find out something. Well, did you find out? Mm-hmm. It is just as I thought. Very good. Just a minute. Quick, get in there. Come in. Carita, me. <laughs> oh, please do not act like a hungry bear. What's the matter? This is not my little tempest of affection. I am not feeling well. I, I have a headache. Oh, soon you will be out of this place that gives you headaches. And will be dancing for no one unless it is just for me in private. You will like that. Yes, of course, Raul. After the wedding, we'll be very happy. Yes, Raul. But now you must go. By tonight, I will feel better. Well, tonight I must be at the Hacienda. Then tomorrow night. You seem anxious to be rid of me. Please, Raul. I told you I do not feel well. Oh, I'm sorry. I see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He has gone. What is this? That is a little present for the wedding he was talking about. It is lovely. But he spoke of his own wedding, not mine. Oh? It's marrying one who is very rich. One who has more money than sense. Thinks he is madly in love with her. It is only with her money. Oh. And you? Are you in love with this fellow or, or with the money? The money. Oh. What is the name of, uh, of this rich girl? Her name is Dolores Ramirez. They call her the Angel of San Lorenzo. But, uh, must we talk of her? Are you interested in her or in me? I'm interested in you. So, you had a headache. Who are you? I'm the headache. Oh, Raul, I do not know who he is. I never saw him before. He, he just wandered in here, and I thought it was you. Oh, I am sorry, senor. Do not be angry. I am a stranger here, and I, I do not know my way around. I was just looking for a little glass of water for, for my little flower. Get out, or I throw you out. If the senorita does not mind, I, I would like to stay here and watch you do it. <laughs>
that man in there. He tried to kill me. Send for the police. You should learn not to lose your temper, amigo. Take him to jail! This was a peaceful little place, but everybody seems to be in a hurry. Got them guns! Oh, it's you? I'm a little too late, I think. You see, my friend over there, he is never in a hurry. Goodbye, little one. For women? Come on, the police will be here any minute. Good now, huh? Yes, very good. I have sold all my flowers in the basket, too. That is fine. Uh, who, uh, who was the customer? You must be a stranger, or you would know that she's Senorita Dolores Ramirez. Oh, she's the one they call the Angel of San Lorenzo, huh? Yes, you have heard of her? Oh, sure. All the way from El Paso to Monterey. But why do they call her that? Because that is what she is. She loves the poor people. Your oh. horse is here, senor. Her heart is very big. Yes. And her eyes are very beautiful. And so are yours. Hurry up before it's too late. Adios. Adios. and get caught in an ambush. We can wait until dark. I have other ways of spending my evening than looking for needle in haystacks. But it might be the Cisco kid. Cisco kid? We better not hang around. I mean, he better not hang around this part of the country. Let me know.
thinking about now, Cisco? I am thinking that tomorrow morning you are going to take a bath. A bath? Uh-huh. That's crazy. I only will get dirty again when we ride south. We are not going south. We are going to the hacienda. Hacienda? Mm -hmm. What are we going to do there? I don't know. Maybe nothing. But the angel who lives there is in trouble, I think. <laughs> what is so funny? What is so funny? An angel don't live in haciendas. They don't live anywhere. Angels are dead. And not the one I saw today, she is not. You mean to say you saw an angel, Cisco? Ah, you're joking. No, I'm not. Where did you see it? In the church? Flying around? No, she was buying flowers from a woman. The woman told me that she lived in the hacienda, and that's where we are going tomorrow after you take a bath. Oh, Cisco. Now, wait, now. I think I changed my mind. You better take a bath now. Oye, Emiliano, Julio, Pepe, Miguel, vengan acá. A ver, dale, sérvense. Que se den un buen baño, eh? Oh, now, wait, now. We can't let this one now. Oh, Cisco, just wait. Una buena enjabonada, eh? Bueno. Oh, please, now, wait a minute, Cisco. Apesta mucho, ya. Hey, muchacho. Yes, señor. Tell your master that Señor Luis Antonio Damaso Alonso y Salazar of San Francisco is here to visit him. Yes, señor. I will tell him as much as I can remember. Mm -hmm. What will I do with the carriage? Take it back where you got it from. Can I keep the coat? Uh -uh. Anyway, I'll keep the buttons. Don Jose will be very pleased to see you. Won't you come in? It is always an honor and a pleasure to greet a Salazar, and particularly one from San Francisco. Thank you, senor. I hope it will not be inconvenient for you. Inconvenient? What nonsense! It is not very difficult to tell that you are one of the sons of my old and very dear friend, Don Ricardo. You have an excellent eye for family resemblances, Don Jose. Bloodlines tell, my boy. You must be the adventurous one I have never met, but of whom I have heard so much. But no, the one to whom I refer is called Pascual, which is not among your names. My name is... Uh... Luis Antonio Damaso Pascual, Alonso y Salazar. Then we will call you Don Luis. Thank you, señor. Dolores was here a moment ago, but seems to have vanished. Pablo! Yeah. Kindly ask señorita Dolores to come down, if it's convenient. Si, sí, señor. Dolores has, of course, heard much of you and your exploits, and I am eager for her to meet you. It will be a great honor for me to meet her, Don Jose. Uh, how is your uh, lovely daughter? Dolores is not my daughter. She's my niece. Oh? Her father, Don Rafael, was my brother. He died over a year ago. Had you not heard? No, you see, I... I never go home very much. The last time I was there, they... they forgot to tell me. You have my deepest sympathies. Gracias. Come in. Hurry, Dolores. Your uncle wants to see you immediately. Why all the excitement? Your uncle has a guest for you to meet. Oh, he must be very important for you to be so excited. Who is it? He is um, Don Luis Antonio Damaso Alonso de Salazar. Oh, Don Luis Salazar. No one else? Oh, I've heard of him and been fascinated by the stories they tell. 
He's a very handsome caballero. Tia Rosita. And at your age. The land is from an old grant of the crown and has been in our family for hundreds of years. Mm. And now it is about to be dissipated. Oh, dissipated? Mm. Yes. Uh, Dolores is soon to be married. Mm. And in that time, will come into full control of her inheritance. Mm -hmm. And it is her intention to give it away to the poor people. Oh. Oh, and tell Pablo to fix a wonderful dinner. The roast? No, I think the duck. And while he's at it, tell oh, him to see. I know. Uh, three ducks for the widow with the four children, and we must send one to the Gomez family, and we mustn't forget the woman by the river who does the washing. Yes, yes, dear, yeah, I know. You know what I mean to say. Uh, tell me, uh, uh, this man that uh, she is going to marry, does, uh, does he approve of her giving all this money away? He would approve of jumping into a fiery pit if she so much just crook her little finger. Oh. She has completely bewitched him. Oh. But here she is now. Dolores, this is Don Luis Salazar, our guest. Would you mind entertaining him? Will you excuse me? San Lorenzo. I can understand why they call you that. Then you have heard. It's very silly. No angel was ever more beautiful. I would like to extend my felicitations on your coming marriage, Senorita Ramirez. Thank you. I have to go into the garden to cut some greens. Will you join me? Dying wish that we should marry. Oh, then he is twice as lucky. Not only did your father approve, but he also won your heart. These will do. He did win your heart, huh? You love him very much? I loved my father very dearly. Marriage is a very wonderful thing if you, if you find the right one. But I am not that lucky. It would be a miracle. A Ramirez, we who love you have gathered the blessings of the sun, the moon, and the stars, and have brought them to lay at your feet, and wish you great happiness in your coming wedding. Thank you, Manuel. Thank all of you, and may heaven bless you. The sun, the moon, and the stars, that is not bad, but it is not quite enough. Manuel is our poet. I encourage him. They all work here for us. You treat them like friends, not like slaves. That is why they adore you. But, but you do not approve? Of course I do. I have the same weakness you have. I cannot see other people suffer. I knew you were like that the moment I met you. When everybody is happy around me, I forget my own sorrows. 
just like you do. Oh, oh, but you are wrong. I, I'm happy. I, I'm very happy. Oh, Tia Rosita. Tia. This is Don Luis Salazar. How do you do? I have been listening. I like you. Go tell her uncle it's all right for her to give the money to the poor. Rosita. Senor, I have something very important to tell you. See me later. What has happened, I would say? Now go, I'll I was hitting the head and somebody stole my carriage. I was keeping up. Who did it? Who did it? A tall man with a little mustache and a little man with a big mustache. Oh, that is... Oh. And then, where did they take you? Where did they take me? Yes. Oh, to Senor Ramirez Hacienda. Don Jose Ramirez Hacienda. Yes, oh, call the police. Call the police. I am Senor Salazar's coachman. I'm Don Jose's cook. I never listen in the window. Oh, my little senorita, now, don't tell anybody about like this, huh? I don't tell nobody if you give me one little kiss. Oh, no, no, no. One little kiss or I tell. All right, close your eyes. Come back here. from San Francisco. How do you do? I seem to remember you, senor. Have we not had the pleasure of meeting somewhere? Had we met, I'm certain I would not forget it. You made a poor observation, Don Luis. Oh, I am sorry. Perhaps my memory is not so good anymore. You must have heard of each other. You are California's famous swordsman. Famous swordsman? Appearances are deceiving. Perhaps you will have an opportunity to test your skill, Don Luis. Oh, I, uh, I'm a little out of practice, Senor Reyes. Besides, I uh, hurt my hand yesterday. Raul, I would like Don Luis to stay for our wedding. Well, perhaps he's in haste to get away. 
Oh, no, senor. I, I have a little unfinished business that will keep me here for a while. Thank you for the uh, invitation. We missed you at dinner. Where were you? Oh, my apologies. There was some excitement in the village. A rumor that the Cisco kid was on the loose and involved in some sort of brawl at the cantina. Oh. Very interesting. Uh, did you, uh, did you see the Cisco kid? So close that I could never forget his face. Close as that, huh? The Cisco kid. Well, I have heard that he only offends the law helping the poor. Uh, you are not interested in the welfare of the unfortunate ones, are you, senor? Oh, well, I see no virtue in pampering them. To the peasants, bandits are all romantic. They make up fabulous tales about them that bear no resemblance to the truth. But come on, Dolores. We have lots of preparation for your wedding. Good night, Uncle Jose. Good night, dear. Good night, Raul. I'm the happiest girl in all California. Good night, Don Luis. So, you are an expert with a sword, Don Luis. I am sorry, senor, but uh, tonight I feel that I'm not a worthy opponent for you. Don Luis! It is my belief that you are not the gentleman you pretend to be but an imposter whose true identity is that of a highwayman. Raul, leave him alone. I'm God. So, you're out of practice, Don Luis. To me, it looks more like you never were in practice. I have to take a lesson, maybe two. Sorry I did not give you enough competition, senor. But my wrist is not so very good. Amigo, the police are coming. Let's go away, quick. Soon. Adios, beautiful. running away. He's not Don Luis Salazar. We mustn't do anything that can spoil our plans. You said you wanted to tell me something. You expect me to go up there? Sure, come on up. <laughs> What do you want to talk to me about? In the first place, you are not a Salazar. I knew the whole family. Yes, I know, but, uh, but in every family there is a black sheep that runs away with a flock. Who are you? My name is Schmidt. Joe Schmidt. Anyway, I like you, Smithy. I do not have to tell you what is the trouble in there. Jose and that Raul, they have arranged this marriage to get her inheritance. That is why they do not want her to give her money to the poor. What about her father's last wish? Her father did not like this Raul. 
That is why he sent her to Spain. Oh. Then she was not here when her father died, eh? No. When she came back, Don Jose said her father had relented and given his blessing to the wedding. He lied. But uh, why should he do that? I do not know. But whatever it is, they are in it together. And there is nothing we can do about it. Now, now, Mama Camilla. This is no time to cry. What do you want to weep for? Maybe, maybe I can find a way, huh? You, you believe in miracles. Why didn't you stick him when you had a chance? Oh, I don't know. I'm so good with the sword. Dear Rosita. Goodbye, Mama. What are you doing down there? Waiting for a miracle. You make me awful tired running after you. But now I am rested. How do you feel? I don't feel anything anymore. I think it's a good idea for us to change, huh? You mean you want to sit in my lap? Yeah. Oh, I see. Now you're beginning to like me, eh? All right. Yeah. You sit in my lap. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Muchacho, come back here! I'm stuck! That is enough, boys. We will try it again tomorrow night. For a man with a price on his head, you are either very foolish or very brave. Even a foolish man can be brave if, if the senorita is beautiful. made a lot of trouble for me. Do you want to kill me? You can kill me with a, with a little love. Why do you come here? Did you expect me to stay away long? You're going to make me lose all this money. How do you know you are going to get the money? I understand she is going to give it away. After the wedding. There won't be any to give away. Oh. How do you know? Her uncle will get a doll when she marries Raul. And then they are going to divide it between them. I've seen their agreement in writing. Oh. You have, huh? Thank you, pretty one. Funny what a woman will say when she's in a romantic mood. Have you ever been killed by love? Oh, I never been killed. You should be killed like that someday. It is very nice. Oh no, I like to die of old age. Come on, we are going to visit a sick friend. A sick friend? He is not sick now, but he's going to be. Oh. <laughs>
Tie him up, Amigo. Aren't you going to ask him where he keep his money? So you're not a highwayman, Senor Don Luis Salazar, huh? Keep still. How can I tie you up if you keep wiggling around? something? Uh, I don't understand what you are talking about. You have to talk a little louder. Uh, uh, Did you hear what he said? Oh, sure, of uh, course. He said he will tell you anything you want to know. Uh, I have all I want to know. Come on. Wait a minute. You want to leave him here like this? Well, uh, what do you think we should do with him? Uh, that is a good idea. This is a very pretty carpet. I don't know want to mess him up. Come on, let's go. from you. You do not have any money. The note, which is the same as money, our fortune, unless we stop him. You must have gone to the hacienda. How did you know that? Why, if he didn't know about the note, he must know about everything. Yes, yes, he knew about everything. You made it all very clear to him. My little sweetheart, you've been so loyal to me. Oh, I love you, Raul. I do love you. I was only trying to find out what he was doing here. Did he give you this? No. I hope he kills you this time. What are you doing here? Oh, I never sleep very much. Hey, Pablo, where does your master keep these secret papers? Secret papers? I don't know. Well, uh, I think you better stop remembering, Pablo. I'll show you, I'll show you. Sorry to disturb you, senor, but uh, I had to open the little box with my gun. What are you doing with my papers? 
I'm looking for something. Give them to me. Give them to me, I said. Then, then you are the Cisco kid. Uh-huh. I stole this piece of paper from your, from your friend, Raoul. Uncle Jose, what is the meaning of this note? Note? Did I give him a note? Yes, for 500,000 pesos. And here's your signature. How could you possibly owe Raul that much money? And with what did you expect to pay him? Here's the answer. This is a will made by my father. But I have not seen this one before. Oh, uh, sure, you see, this one was made at a later date. How does this differ from the other? Well, he says here that should you marry Raul, your father's entire estate would go to his brother, Don Jose Ramirez. A little forgery, eh, senor? You thought you were going to get all the money, eh? Please, Dolores, I can explain everything. I couldn't see the, the land lost. You wicked old man! You should be in jail! You have saved us all. This is a miracle. Put your hands up. Hey, Mama, we better get another miracle. Mm -hmm. This time you won't escape. The police are on their way, but I should have sent for an undertaker instead. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Pretty good shot, eh? Did you say something about an undertaker? My wrist feels a little bit better today. Maybe you want to play with the swords, huh? You like that, huh? Wonderful Caballero in all California. That was the sweetest kiss I have ever had. I hope it will not be the last one. Upstairs! Maybe. Maybe I will come back, huh? 